Protesters rallied in nearly two dozen American cities today, calling for the removal of President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. The president and VP both ignored the protests and said focusing on their agendas, including tax reform. ABC's Linda Lopez has the latest. From Los Angeles to Chicago and New York, and more than a dozen other cities, a left-wing political action group called Refuse Fascism marched through the streets. People just like us in cities and towns across the country have overcome fear and uncertainty, recognizing the grave danger that the Trump-Pence regime presents to humanity. The group's goal? Remove Donald Trump from the White House, along with Vice President Mike Pence. The Trump-Pence regime must go! The group's speakers argue for a peaceful removal, contrary to the predictions of some websites and publications on the right, who have hyped the rallies as the start of a violent overthrow of the U.S. government. Police arrested only a few demonstrators. The president not reacting to the protests, laying a wreath at the USS Arizona Memorial in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, on a stopover to Japan, all part of an Asian tour that will also take him to South Korea, China, Vietnam, and the Philippines. And Vice President Mike Pence focused on tax reform on a trip to Pennsylvania. The first $24,000 in income for working families in America will be completely tax free. The president unveiled the tax cut plan Thursday. Democrats immediately attacked it. It's really making suckers of the American people. According to the latest ABC News Washington Post poll, Americans aren't so sure about tax reform. 50% say they disapprove of the proposal, while 60% say they believe it primarily benefits the wealthy. Linda Lopez, ABC News, New York.